Hey everybody, Spike from Wavescape here with your Western Cape surf report and weather forecast for the weekend of the 12th of September. So I woke up to one of those epic Western Cape sunrises, so I had to go down to the beach, obviously to test some of the theory versus the reality of the conditions, as you do if you're a good surf forecaster. Fortunately, Calvin, my dog, agreed. So after a week that included a day or two of absolutely beautiful conditions, and the seas were glassy and the skies were sunny, we got some moments that were a little bit hazy. We had some moments that included some fun waves, not too taxing. Then a huge swell came thumping through from the west and the adrenaline fired up midweek with some proper waves, particularly on Wednesday. So yeah, we're kind of out of winter now, I guess, and officially into spring. The flowers are out in the full sunshine. And to cap off the week, yesterday we got our first southeaster of the season, which of course brought about wind-whipped, white-capped seas and plunging sea temperatures. Obviously, with this pumping southeaster, the upwelling occurs in summer. We're going to get a lot of that. So it's time for proper rubber, guys. The season's also brought about a lot of excitement in the kelp lice community, with daily migrations to more putrefying pastures increasing en masse. So really, the short of it is that this weekend, first of all on Friday, we see that the high is shifting to the southeast, moving away from us, and so the winds are receding from the west coast. Then we see that there's a coastal low moving down from the west coast, and then sits over Cape Town, so the winds drop. And then out to sea, there's um, two clumps of low pressure approaching us, and the bottom one turns into quite a feisty little nugget of a storm, and that arrives with some uh, moderate to fresh westerly winds overnight Saturday and then into Sunday we're back to winter with strong westerly winds and quite a bit of rain which should push the catchment into the zone of we're safe for water this summer and tariffs are going to be reduced maybe or maybe not and of course it brings with it big swell but it seems like the brunt of the swell really is only arriving Sunday afternoon and into the evening so let's just rewind to Friday and let's just dig a little bit closer to the conditions so that we can see what is going on. So you can see that band of easterly wind pumping across the southern belts of this western cape and then during the day you can see that it's actually receding away from Cape Town but the onshores are obviously still blowing along the southern Cape coast but up the west coast the high pressure has moved away and it's beautiful light easterly conditions. Nice light offshores all the way down to Cape Town although um, off the Cape Point, it's, the wind's still blowing, and Gullis still blowing, and all along the Southern Cape, it's still blowing. And swell-wise, we've got a nice 2.3 meter southwesterly swell running at 12 second periods, and you can actually see where all the east swell is still being churned up by those strong east winds, 3.7 meters at 8 second easterly wind swell, and then you you will notice that little patches are look like they're all mixed up, but it's really just that the chart is giving credence to the easterly swell and overriding the underlying ground swell. And then during the day on Friday, it's dropping. So three to four foot, maybe five foot of open coast and then receding gradually. But come Saturday, we've got very calm light conditions. And there comes that low down from the west coast. And it sits over us. We've got light northwesterlies to westerlies to southwesterlies actually up the west coast. Um, with the easterlies still in place, but light and, and probably land breezes in some parts. Um, and then during the day on Saturday that wind becomes strong. Look at those fierce northwesterly precursor winds before the cold front gusting to 40 knots um, across the Karoo and then spreading all the way across the interior, pumping. Real proper little cold front's actually upgraded quite a lot and has become a lot more potent, which is going to create quite a lot of swell. Anyway, the westerlies also start blowing um, along the southern cape and that turns into a buster. I'll get to the swell now now. Might as well keep the momentum going and then on Sunday the real cold front arrives. And boom, here goes the, the wind and a big buster pumping to gale force. So Saturday swell, you can see the east swell still in place uh, where the wind was at its worst. And up the west coast in Cape Town, the seas are calming down, which means that southeasterly chop is dying off. And we've got a 1.4 meter swell running at 11 second periods, which is really small, pretty much flat in places. The east wind swells fading, the swells dropping further in Cape Town down to 10 seconds at one meter. That's Pretty much no swell. When it's blue like that, it means pretty flat. Wind swells also died off by Sunday, early in the morning. And now we're starting to get a bit of the wind swell from those low pressures that are approaching. So Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, 
2.6 meter swell at seven second period. So it's just a stormy wind chop that's arriving, really. And there it comes. 3.1 meters at eight seconds and then 3.6 meters at 10 seconds. And so it really, it seems like the main swell is pushing in the afternoon. But as you can see, wind-wise, it's strong westerly, pumping to near gale force to the east. Some points may start working. And then by evening, the swell is starting to peak four meters at 11 seconds. And then overnight Monday, that's when the actual period arrives. 14 seconds, five meters at 14 seconds. So Monday really is the day that you're gonna bunk work break out of jail or skip school really anyway that's about it from me i hope that you have a lucky weekend stay safe and see you in the water cheers